books. And my dad really was the absolute biggest bookworm I've ever met. He always had either a book or a magazine in his hand. He could talk to you about anything and everything that you wanted in an educated fashion, not just, not just give an opinion, but really know the latest and greatest because he had just read it the week before. So wow. that, that was a fantastic thing. He was like a walking encyclopedia. Oh, and then one of the things that happened, you know what it was? There were many documents, there were many government documents that needed to be translated. And so by virtue of me seeing or spell checking or just being in touch with them, I started learning how politicians and how government entities wrote with this, you know, with just all mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, crazy uh, uh, bureaucratic language. And so with that, I started writing letters to my friends just like that to make fun of them. Just pay attention next time you're seeing an interpreter inter uh, doing translation for someone because depending on the language, depending on where you place, for instance, the verb, if you're familiar with German, in English, you may be talking, 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 talking. And if someone is interpreting in German, they will be quiet, 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 listening. And as soon as they hit that verb, that way you know uh, what, what tense it is in the present, in the past, in the future, whenever, then they start translating. The word itself is a blend of entrepreneurship and gurus because I wanted to bring that knowledge from these entrepreneurial gurus to everybody. And I was looking for a particular word that would sound well, both in English and in Spanish. And so that's how the name came about. And in Spanish, it sounds well as also because entre means among so that means that you're among the gurus <laughs>